Hi, George here. Well, you know, you know those Bible verses which says, you know, when Jesus says, you know, you shall still, some of you will still be alive when I come in my kingdom. Or, you know, some of you will still be going around the cities. And you would not have finished going through all of them before I come back in my kingdom. Well, you know, those are indications that Jesus the Christ came back uh, very, very soon, in, within the generation of the, his disciples. And uh, could be, it was that was during the time when Jerusalem was destroyed, as well as the Jewish temple, ending the Old Covenant in AD 70. You know, that's, uh, but in that case, what happened after that? Well, the church was formed, and the first church that got formed was the Roman Catholic Church. Interesting that the Roman Empire, which destroyed the Jewish temple, was transformed into the Catholic Church over, over hundreds of years. And so the church lives, Jesus as its head and its body, a living organism, continuing, in, continuing on through time. And the Catholic Church has stated in its creeds that Jesus is coming again at the end of time. But this would not be the second coming, this would be the third coming, would it not? So could it well be? How would the third coming manifest itself? The second coming manifested itself by the Roman Empire destroying the Old Covenant. So what would usher in eternity? Would a nation be selected? I wondered to what extent the election of the recent U.S. President Donald Trump and the fact that this is the 100th anniversary of Fatima in 2017. Could that be the ushering in of the third coming? Because the coming of Christ manifested last time, in the, at least in the second coming, in a major power, the ruling power of the world, executing judgment. The ruling power of the world today is the United States of America. Could it be about to execute judgment? Could this be it? Time will tell. But if it is not, Jesus the Christ will come again. No one knows when. But he will, at the end of time. We should always be ready to welcome him and we will see him face to face, if not after death, then when he comes back the third time. It's George, signing off. Prepare for departure.